and welcome back to the channel as always i hope everyone is having a great day i'm very very excited to give you guys this upload this is a special weekend i've said this before but you really don't have to wait for a holiday to say thank you to anybody in the united states armed forces defense contractors or any of the agencies that are keeping us safe every single day a simple thank you on any day of the week means an awful lot so if you get a chance highly recommend it Having said that, if you're new to this channel, my name is Jeff, and this is where I share my random passions with you guys. Anything from my watch collection, uh, this is my Rolex GMT Master II Pepsi. I have a few other watches. Uh, my passion for cars, I have a 2023 CA convertible, hardtop convertible, 70th anniversary. And obviously, my passion for guns. If you'd like to check any of those things out, feel free to go through the channel. But today, we're going to be talking about my Benelli M4 and my biggest regret at least one of my Benelli M4s. So let's dive into it. If you guys remember a few years back, um, I had a Benelli M4 with a classable stock. Currently that has changed. But before we start, this firearm is cleared as always. And uh, yeah, so that gun was absolutely amazing. Uh, a lot of you have asked why I haven't had that ch uh, gun back on the channel. Where has it been? Um, do I still like Benelli's? And the answer to all that is, yes, I absolutely love the Benelli M4 platform. I think it's one of the best shotguns ever made. Having said that, if you notice I'm talking past tense, well, let me explain. So, a few years back, I was at the gun range, which is Delmarva Clay and Shooting Range, my favorite place to go. And as I was shooting that gun, um, somebody approached me and we had a conversation and they said, hey, look, you know, currently that gun is, is kind of hard to get with the classable stock and the full extension tube, which holds seven rounds plus one. And I said, yeah, yeah, I, I totally get it. I completely agree. And he said, no, you don't understand. That gun is worth a lot more than what the retail is. I said, get out of here. Cause I got that gun at a heck of a deal. Uh, shout out to uh, JK Associates, um, Jacob, everybody over there. If you guys have been with the channel for a while, you know I'm very close with them. But uh, I do purchase all my own firearms and my ammo. But um, I highly recommend checking them out. Having said that, um, I was listening to him speak and it turned out at the time, you know, even now, they were going for a fortune. So I contacted my FFL. I called Jacob up at JNK and uh, decided to sell it. It was an offer I couldn't refuse, you know. And uh, I did. So it sold extremely fast, as you can imagine. And um, at the time, I did not think I was going to miss that gun as much as I did. So that's why it hasn't been on a channel in the last couple of years. But as you can tell, I have another one. Now, this one does not have the classical stock. It does not have the extension tube. And I'll explain that in just a second. So throughout the years, I bought many other firearms. Um, I recently picked up the Dan Weston Compact. And uh, actually, while I was at JNK picking up that particular firearm, and our view is coming soon, got any, uh, I don't know, any thoughts on that particular platform, let me know. Dan Weston Compact DWX, freaking phenomenal. While I was there at their shop, my wife looked up and she said, is that a Benelli M4? sitting on the rack and i said what are you talking about because you don't really come across them uh pre-owned at jk that often and what are the odds for the second time for the one to be available while i'm there and sure enough i look up and there it is so without saying it goes without saying that you know seeing this on the shelf my eyes lit up so i said jacob you know what is the deal with that benelli m4 do you have any information, additional information, or was it somebody you knew that owned it? How well did, you know, did they take care of it? These guns are bulletproof. And we'll go over everything about this gun in a few minutes, but I just want to explain to you uh, why I regretted selling my gun. That was my biggest regret, is selling that gun. Money was good, but man, I missed it so much. So, for those of you that don't know much about the Benelli M4s, um, they've been around for some time now. They are a gas-operated system, and these were, you know, brought to the military a long time ago, mostly Marines. Uh, they've been using law enforcement for a very, very long time. Um, they're very easy to serve, uh, service, so just one quick release of this knob here, and the whole entire upper assembly comes off, and you can service the gas system in these guns. 
very very easy um, along with that these things are just absolutely bulletproof so um, while we were in the shop taking a look he quoted me a price that I could not turn down on this firearm hence we have it back and it is not going anywhere again I'm keeping this gun and this is just a hollow sun as far as a red dot it's a placeholder um, I don't know what optic I'm gonna put on here soon guys have any uh, thoughts or opinions of what to put on there let me know but we are gonna be changing this to a full extension as far as a barrel uh, the trigger group will be changed out as too as well this will make everything compliant and um, the stock will be switched back to adjustable so we currently have uh, an extension piece right here that just adds to the tube that does not make it compliant I will put a uh, description right here as far as what I'm talking about and make it as compliant when it's getting transferred over to uh, the United States but with the trigger group um, which is three US parts uh, along with the follower inside this it will be compliant so we will be doing that anyway um, after picking up the gun from JK Associates and the Dan West Dan Weston I was absolutely to the moon but it made me realize especially when i saw it how much i missed that gun now for you guys have you ever experienced that i as gun collectors i know you have i know you guys have had a firearm before that you guys got rid of and then as soon as you did you're like man i just absolutely missed that gun i don't get really too attached to too many things cars obviously my wife and uh you guys know by now if you follow the channel she's attached to pizza I don't know it's just it is what it is but as far as this Benelli M4 uh, just to do a recap this currently is a five and one this is tritium ghost sights uh, and it has a pistol grip and again when you break this down this is a dual gas system uh, which makes this functional function extremely extremely clean when you're shooting this gun if you've never shot a Benelli M4 before um, do yourself the pleasure and do so even after a couple hard rounds these guns stay clean um, again they're one of the best operating systems i've ever shot so give me your opinions especially if you served um, law enforcement or military give me your experience uh, of what you guys had but going back to this um you know this is a 2021 there are some markings on the firearm where you can tell what year it is obviously if you're buying it pre-owned and not new um, I was just kind of curious I wanted to see how old it was but according to these markings and all the research I've done this is a 2021 and it was barely ever shot uh, so regardless even if it was shot numerous times I highly doubt that you're gonna uh, uh, cause any defects with this system now I am uh, up in the fence as far as modifications to this if you guys got any opinions obviously I am changing out the trigger group um, the classable stock will be put on very soon, but um, as far as anything else, lights, all that good stuff, if you guys got any thoughts or opinions on that, definitely, definitely let me know. But that is my biggest regret. My biggest regret was selling that gun. Now, the money was good. I'm not going to lie. That money was good. But uh, I really didn't need the money at the time, but I said, why not? I put that money towards another build. In specific, I put that towards my URGI, which is what we have right here. So this is a 14.5 pin and welded, uh, obviously suppressed. Geisley URGI with the ACOG on top and the RMR. That is a one MOA adjustable. And uh, I put that money towards this beauty right here. Now as usual, gun is clear. But um, regardless, I was gonna build this gun. So I, I don't think I should have, I don't think I should have sold it. But it is back now. Um, there is no complaints whatsoever. If you'd like to see a full review on this guy, uh, it is on the channel. Feel free to check it out. This is my go-to. I absolutely love this gun. It's pretty much, I want to say it's not a special purpose rifle, but uh, it's more of a recce slash do-all setup for me, for my current environment. So absolutely love this gun. But going back to the uh, Benelli, I don't know what my primary use of this is going to be. You guys let me know. If you're using this for home defense, are you using this for, you know, if it hits the fan? Uh, what are you guys currently using your Benelli M4 for? Um, 
I think everybody should have some type of shotgun system in their collection or uh, for, uh, I hate to say it, but if it hits the fan, this is one of the tools that I would use. Obviously, currently I am using my uh, URGI as my primary. And then, of course, you know, I have my pistol setups as well. But anyway, guys, uh, I really do appreciate it. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, this concludes my uh, explanation of my regret for my Bedellium 4. Again, this one is uh, not going anywhere. So let me know what your experiences are, uh, what you have done to modify your Bedellium 4. There has been a thousand videos out there of people that have modified these uh, shotguns. And I would love to hear your experience with this gun. I really would. Uh, it's, again, just to recap, one of the best systems out there as far as it being gas operated and reliability. I don't think you can pick a better shotgun. If there is one, you guys let me know. So, have a great day. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe. And I'll see you at the next upload. See ya.